In this video, I will show you how to import images in BrickSketch, how to scale them, and how to trace over them. Okay, let's start by importing an image. To do this, go to Insert and click Attach Raster Image. Then a window opens and you can browse the image you want. I'm going to take an image of a car here. Then you can name the image, you can choose an insertion point, you can choose a scale, or you can rotate it. I'm just going to leave it like this and click OK. So now you can see the image is imported in BrickScat. Now I want to put this image in a new layer. For this go to Home and click Layers. Then create a new layer and give it a name. I'm going to name it Car Image. Then leave the window and put the image in the layer. Another thing I'm going to do is change the color to red because it's more visible for the rest of the tutorial video. Okay, now we are going to scale the image. For this we are going to use the axis on the image as a reference. So I'm going to draw a line that's 5 meters long on this axis. So what we want to do now is select the line in the image and then select the grip of the line. Now in the common bar you see stretch but we want to scale it so just press space till scale appears. Then we are going to press R for reference and then it asks us a reference length. So basically we have to tell it what it is now, which is the length of the line. And then we have to tell it what it has to be, which is 5000 millimeters. So when you type 5000, the image is scaled. Okay, so now we can check if the scale is correct by measuring the line again. And it says 5000. So the scaling is done correctly. So now I'm going to show you how you can trace your image. I'm going to trace the top view of my car. Because it has some symmetry, I'm first going to draw the symmetry line so that I only have to draw one half of it later on. So this is the symmetry line. Now let's start tracing the car. For this we are going to select polyline and start drawing. In your common bar you see different options and we are going to choose arcs. So type A. And what we want to do now is specify a second and a third point. So for this type S. And then you can select your second point. So specify where you want the second point to be and then select the end of the arc. After this we're still in the command so we can immediately do this again. But you have to make sure you always press S for second point because it doesn't do this automatically. So now you will have to repeat this process until the whole car is traced. You have to see a bit for yourself where you want to start a new arc, where you want the second point and the end point to be. And you can always start all over again if you're a little bit wrong. Now I'm going to speed up the process a bit. Okay, so when this is all done, we have the full half of our car. What can sometimes happen is that the image gets in front of your lines and to solve this you just have to select your image and type DR which stands for draw order. Then type B which sends the image to the back. Now to complete the tracing we only have to mirror the polyline opposite the middle line. 
and then we can join the two halves of the car. Now if you only want to see the tracing, you can just hide the layer of the image. You can also open the image window by typing IM and there you can unload the image by unchecking this box. So you can see it's not in the drawing anymore. You can also delete the image here. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.